Hello, this is Dr. David Green, CEO of the Georgia Pain Network. Today's topic is, is my hip pain coming from a hip or a lumbar spine problem? Hip pain is very common. Millions of Americans suffer from hip arthritis, which can cause significant disability and limited ability to walk, exercise, participate in recreational activities. There are hundreds of thousands of total hip replacements performed every year in the U.S. And when you have pain in the hip region, it just makes sense to assume that the pain is coming from the hip joint. And there may be an overlap between hip arthritis and lumbar spinal stenosis, so it may not be coming from the actual hip joint itself. As individuals age, spinal stenosis is very common in the lumbar spine, just like arthritis is in the hip. Both occur due to degeneration. Now, lumbar spinal stenosis, you can see in the cartoon here, this is the vertebral disc. This is the spinal canal, where the spinal cord goes through. These are joints surrounding the spine. And basically what you see here is normally an ellipse, okay? But with degeneration and overgrowth of bone and soft tissue, you start to get more of a triangular appearance, which is called spinal stenosis, okay? This can pinch on nerve roots as they're trying to get out from the spine and cause significant pain in one's buttock area, hips, thighs, um, and down the leg. So they can overlap between hip arthritis and lumbar spinal stenosis. Here's another view of what you can see with spinal stenosis. Overgrowth of bone um, and disc area pushing back and can pinch. Here you see an arthritic hip versus a normal hip. This looks nice and spherical. Nice hip joint appearance here. Here you can barely even see the joint. A lot of overgrowth uh, of bone. Now, how do you differentiate um, the two? Well, one is the area of pain. Uh, second would be the duration. When does it come? When does it go? Both of these can cause referred pain down the leg. Um, you see the shopping cart picture on the right. That's right out of a textbook. Basically, if a person says, well, I feel better when I'm doing activities where I lean forward, such as shopping in the supermarket, that's more in line with lumbar spinal stenosis. Spinal stenosis pain is typically position-related. Um, and physical exam, for instance, if you point, if you have someone has point tenderness right over the hip, then it's more consistent with hip arthritis, especially with range of motion if you have hip pain. A neurologic exam is not very helpful. Imaging studies can help, but they're not definitive. So here you see spinal stenosis on an MRI with that triangular appearance again, okay? But that doesn't mean the person's going to be painful. It may be that they have no pain at all. So diagnostic injections are really the best way to go. If you do a hip injection and it's a hip arthritis, then it should decrease the pain, right? Um, epidural injections, if it's lumbar spinal stenosis, that should help considerably, although it may not work the first time. So here are the potential outcomes. If you get complete hip relief with a hip injection, then it's a hip problem, okay? If you get complete hip relief with an epidural injection, it's a lumbar problem. If you get some relief from the hip injection with the rest of the relief with an epidural injection, you, then you have a combination problem. All right? There's always the possibility that neither injection will work well. In that case, further investigation is in order. The top non-operative pain management in Georgia is through the Georgia Pain Network. There are several clinics throughout the state offering over 25 treatments and accepting over 50 insurance plans with the board-certified doctors. Visit us online today at georgiapainnetwork.com and then call us for more information and scheduling at 404-850-9099. I'm Dr. David Green with the Georgia Pain Network. Your pain stops here.